So here's how our email marketing automation in Elementor is going to work. So your visitor comes on this landing page, they enter their name and also their email address. If they click on download guide, they'll be taken to this thank you page and they'll be able to download the guide, but it doesn't end here. Now let's take a look in our dashboard. So I'm gonna come over here. Now, if we go to Fluent CRM, which is our email marketing automation system that we're going to be using in today's tutorial, we notice now that we have one user here that has been added. Let's come over here to our contacts and you'll notice that this is the email that I've just entered. So this is working fine, but it doesn't end there. There's also an email marketing automation system that I created. So if I come over here to automations, you're going to notice that we have an automation here for free guide. So here's how it's going to work. When someone downloads it, they're going to get a thank you email. We're gonna wait one day, and then we're going to try and sell them something on a discounted offer. Now, of course, this is very, very plain and simple, but Fluent CRM is very advanced. So you'll be able to do more complex automations behind the scenes. So this is a complete system which you can apply onto your existing Elementor website. So let me show you how to achieve this. So the first thing we wanna do is to install Fluent CRM. So I'm gonna come over here to the plugins and then click on add new. Next, you want to search for Fluent CRM. Now, this is a free plugin, but it doesn't have the advanced features. So I'm going to go ahead now and activate because I've already gone ahead and downloaded it. So now it's activated. Next, we're going to need the pro version. So to install the pro version, go to funnels to income.com and then add forward slash Fluent CRM. Now this link here has a discount. It takes you now to this page and then go to get Fluent CRM. Now, as you can see, there's 30% discount. So now you wanna come over here and you can choose which license you wanna go with. So you could go for this uh, single domain or you could go for the five side license. So I already have an account here. So I've already gone ahead, downloaded the plugin and uploaded it. So to upload the plugin, you wanna come over here to your plugins and then click on add new. Click on upload plugin, and then you wanna drag and drop the plugin from where you downloaded it. Uh, so in my case here, I'm just gonna go in now and activate Fluent CRM Pro. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to create my tags and also my mailing list. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to Fluent CRM, go to my dashboard. So on the, under contacts here, you wanna click on tags. So the tag I'm going to add here is for the free download or free guide. Or if you want to be more descriptive, you can say downloaded free guide. So I'm going to create. Now we also need a mailing list for this. So I'm going to come over here, click on lists, create a new list. I'm just going to call this free guide list. Click on create. So the reason why I've done this is because it's going to make it easy for us to create our opt-in forms. All right, so now that we have this out of the way, let's go ahead and create our pages. So I'm going to come over here and click on add new. The first page I'm going to create is going to be the landing page of the free guide. And let's go ahead and start uh, designing this. I'm gonna click here on edit with Elementor. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is to add our container. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and we are going to go with this container here. Now inside this main container, I need to add two more containers in there. So I'm gonna drag, drop it, and then do it one more time. Or you can just uh, right click and duplicate this. All right, so now we've got two containers inside the main container. The next step now is to start adding all my elements in here. So I wanna start here with my heading. So I'm gonna click here, drag, drop that. I'm also going to have some subtext. So I'm gonna drag and drop it just under the text here. Finally, I'm going to need an opt-in form. So I'm gonna come over here again and search for my form. And I am going to drag and drop it as well, just under the text. So while this is open, I need to get rid of message. Do that. Now, as you can see, we also have another container here. So I'm going to go in and add an image. So I'm going to drag, drop it in here. So this image helps because this is the image that uh, pretty much complements what you're uh, asking your subscribers to download. Now, this is the image I'm going to use. So we're going to pretend this is a guide for uh, some sort of fitness guide. Okay, so now that I have this all set, I'm gonna to come to the main container and just adjust my direction. So I want everything to go horizontal. The next step now is to uh, just give this a bit of breathing space. So I'm gonna come over here to the top. I'm going to now give this some padding by coming over here to advanced, unlink that and go to percentage. So let me start with 10% and see what that looks like. I think that can work. Or maybe I can just uh, increase that to about uh, say 18. 
No, I think that's too much. Okay, let's go with about 14% here. The next step is to customize my text. So I'm gonna come over here and just make sure my text is dark. So I'm gonna give that as my title. And then on the style, come over here to typography and just add my font here. And we might as well make it bold because that really makes it stand out uh, quite a bit. I'm also going to increase the size nice and bold. So let's go with 56. And we also need to do the same here to style. Go to my typography, click on the drop down and choose poppins and select. Okay, I think that looks fine. So to set up our form, what I need to do is to come over here to content and then I want to come to action after submit. So I'm going to click here. So here we have collect submissions and email. So I'm going to get rid of um, that. Click on this plus button. So here I need Fluent CRM and here it is right here at the bottom. I'm going to select that and I'm also going to add a redirect. So now we have this option for redirect. So I'm going to click here. All right. So the redirect page here is going to be the thank you page. So we want that when they fill in the form, they go to the thank you page. Okay. So let's go ahead and create the thank you page. So we're going to come over here to the top and then click on page to add a new page. We're going to give this a title of thank you. And we're also going to edit this with Elementor. So with this page, we're just going to keep things very simple. Uh, we're going to go in, add another column here, like how we did before. And this time, we're just going to add some text just to say thank you. And here is your download. All right. So with this text, let's center it. And we're just going to go in here and say thank you. And we're also going to add our download button. So here it is. We're going to center it. And this is going to be your link to your download, okay? So over here, I'm just going to say download here. Now, if you want, you can also add a video in here, but uh, we're not going to make things very complicated. Now, this page don't need to have headings. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to settings. And where it says high title, we're going to say yes. And the page layout here is just going to be Elementor Canvas. And then we're going to publish. Now you can see here, everything is all the way to the top. Let's change that because design wise, that doesn't look very good. So I'm going to come back and uh, adjust my minimum height. Again, I'm going to use VH and I'm just going to drag this slider here until I get to about uh, this time. We're going to go with about 70% and then I'm just going to center it. So there we go. So that's our thank you page. I'm going to save that and then view this in a new tab. So here we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this URL, which is the thank you page, and then come back here on my design. So this is now going to be my redirect. So I'm going to go in and paste it like that. And then I'm going to publish. Let's have a quick look here in the new tab. All right. So this is what, how it's looking so far. And I can see here I left the title and also we have a heading here. So let's go ahead and get rid of that by coming over here to settings, page layout. I'm going to go with canvas. I'm going to hit update. Now I can see here my content is all the way down here. So I need to adjust this a little bit. So let's head over to our main container. So our padding top, I'm just going to add 10 pick, uh, 10%. All right, so let's hit update and take a quick preview. All right, so I think that looks much better. All right, so now let's make sure that our email automation is now set on the form. So I'm going to come back on the form here and click on this little icon. So remember, what we need to aim for here is to make sure that Fluent CRM is working correctly. So after uh, submit, we are going to click the email, redirect, and Fluent CRM is also connected here. So over here on Fluent CRM, we need to map the fields. So here we have the name and the email. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to say first name need to be mapped to name, and then email need to be mapped to email. So that's looking great. Now over here on the bottom, you notice that we have select lists. So remember, we created a list earlier on. So I'm going to click on this plus button. And our list here is going to be for the free guide list. We also need to add a tag as soon as someone downloads it. So I'm going to come over here and say downloaded free guide. So now that everything has been mapped, I can now hit update. Next, I'm going to come over here now 
to Fluent CRM. So I'm gonna go to my dashboard. In order for this automation to really work, what we need to do is to come over to this tab called automations. So I'm gonna click on that and then click on new automation. So this one here is going to be free guide. So we want that when a tag is added, which will be added automatically when someone fills in that form. So I'm gonna say tag added, I'm gonna hit continue. Now I need to choose the tag. So I'm gonna click on this drop down. So here it says a downloaded free guide. Now remember, we created this tag very early on in this tutorial. So the next step now is to say save settings. This automation here is going to start when that tag is added. So now we can decide what we need to do when that tag is added. So we can say, okay, why don't we create an email? So I'm gonna come over here, send custom email. So this custom email is just going to be a thank you email. So I'm just gonna title this. And this is where you can start adding all your information. This could be just a thank you for downloading my guide, whatever. And if you need any support or if you need any information, here's the link. And we can create a link in here by just clicking on that. For now, I'm just gonna add a blank link. So we can also add buttons, add a forward slash button. You can see here, so we can say, go to place. Now what's really cool as well is we can add two buttons in here if we wanted to. We can also add images. So if I click here on this plus button, I can click on this image. If we have an image in the media library, we can just go to our media library here and select our image and add it. So it is very, very easy to use. Now there's also another option, which is our template builder here. This is a drag and drop system, which you can also use. So as you can see here, we can uh, start from blank or you can use the standard. So this is a drag and drop system, but I have another tutorial that shows you how to use this. Okay, so let's say our email here was created. It's a thank you email. We can also go ahead and add other options. So we can say, let's wait one day, add one and save here. So I'm gonna say, wait one day and this time I want to uh, send uh, an email or I can even send an email campaign. So this now is going to start happening behind the scenes and this is where the email automation comes in. So when someone goes in as the email address, they're going to be given a tag. The tag is what's going to trigger this. So if I say send custom email, again, this will be say email to but of course that's, uh, that shouldn't be your, your email subject. All right, so I'm gonna add this text here, and this could be an email that is promoting maybe one of my products on my website, and maybe it has a discount, or maybe we can just say get 20% discount here. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, let's call this discount offer. And then obviously you want to add a link to your discount offer. Now I'm gonna hit save changes. So this system here is going to be working in the background for you. So if you wanna keep it this simple, you can just now add the final action, which is going to be the end funnel here and then just click on save settings. Okay, so that's our email automation. Now to activate it, make sure it's working. You just wanna come over here to now um, change it from draft to published. Now, the really cool thing about Fluent CRM is this will show you all the stats as well. So that makes it really, really cool. So now that I have all this set, let's test this and see if this is working. So here I am on my landing page. So I'm gonna enter my name. So I'm gonna enter my email in here and click on send. So you can see here, it's taken me to the thank you page. I can download my free guide here. But after downloading, I'm also going to get an email. But for me to check to see if everything is working in um, Fluent CRM, we're gonna come over here now to the dashboard. So I'm gonna go back to the dashboard. And now we can see that we have a subscriber. Look at that. So you can go into detail and see who that person is by coming over here to all contacts. And you can see here, this is my test and this is working okay. It also has my tag, it also has my mailing list. So this is how you set up email automation. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.